I believe that potential unexpressed turns to pain. And when we are born, we're born as children into awe and wonder. Adults are nothing more than deteriorated children. But as we leave the perfection of childhood where, where we're intimate with our gifts and our talents and awe and wonder, our parents, doing their best, say, you want to be an astronaut? Be practical. And then we go to school and we say, well, I want to be a rock star and I want to be an actor and I want to be Jay Shetty when I grow up. And they say, well, no, no, he's a different kind of, cut from a different cloth than you. And we get seduced by the beliefs of the people around us. And we go from this awe and wonder and intimacy with our glory, our primal glory. That's, that's just the human condition. And we start to forget who we truly are. And as our dreams start to fall apart and as we lose that connection with our best selves and as we get sad and disappointed, and as we failed, that's just part of life, a lot of us shut down. And we don't know how to process through that pain, so we, we repress it. And so the great sports superstars or the billionaires I work with or the you know companies like Starbucks, FedEx, Nike, IBM, when I work with their leadership teams, what I do is I help them move through that well of blockage within themselves because in the book there's a very disruptive model. And it's called the four interior empires. And just really quickly, so many people are talking about mindset. Would you agree? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Right? Everything is mindset. Mm -hmm. If you just dial in your mindset, you're going to go out there and you're going to change the world. Well, here's, mm -hmm. here's what that model is about. I, I think mindset is only 25% of the personal mastery equation. Yeah. And, and here's why. It's very important to have a great mindset. That's your psychology. You want to wire in the beliefs of world class. No question. But a great psychology with a broken heart or a heart full of pain, if you haven't forgiven the unforgiven, if you're stuck in the past, you can read the books and go to the courses and get a great mindset and you're all on fire, but you sabotage yourself because your emotional life is toxic. Mm -hmm. So it's not just mindset, there's this second word I'm introducing, which is it's going to transform people. It's heart set, mm -hmm. but it's not only purifying your heart set, you wanna calibrate your mindset, purify your heart set and then it's this other word i'm introducing health set that's the third interior empire because if you want to change the world don't die <laughs> right you know yes so the, one of the keys to legendary is longevity and there's a lot of the book on how to how the best in the world the great geniuses manage their vitality so they were like in their 90s still rocking their craft mm -hmm. so it's mindset heart set health set which is your physical life and here's a key that i think will resonate with you it's the fourth interior empire is your soul set. Yes. Now, some of your listeners from across the planet will go, well, I'm a business builder or I want creativity, productivity. Why are we talking about soul set? Well, if your ego is running the day, you're never going to go out there and change the world. You know, uh, a bad day for the ego is an awesome day for the soul. Mm -hmm. So working on your soul set so you are a titan of humanity and you're intimate with your highest nature and you're wiring in the great values and you're living for a cause that's bigger than yourself. That's what allows you to go out in the world and move through failures and really own your domain.